Today's journey takes us to Biloxi National Cemetery in Biloxi, Mississippi to visit the grave of a man whose larger-than-life personality landed him on many television sets throughout the nation as the lovable giant Uncle Elmer. He wasn't always known as lovable hillbilly Uncle Elmer. He was actually born Stanley Frazier in Philadelphia, Mississippi. Born August 16, 1937, a native of Pascagoula, he began wrestling at a young age. According to his stone, he served in the Navy at some point during the Korean conflict. His career actually began in the early 1960s wrestling in the Gulf Coast area, becoming very popular with the fans since he was a local. He was discovered by Jerry Jarrett and Jerry Lawler, big names in the Memphis wrestling territory, and he was brought to Memphis. Frazier would use many different monikers throughout his career, including one of his most famous, Plowboy Frazier. As you can see, the word Plowboy is at the bottom of his marker. Frazier would make a name for himself in those regional territories. He would be awarded several championships in those individual territories in Tennessee and also in Georgia. He would perform with a lot of the big names of that day. In 1985, the Powerhouse World Wrestling Federation came calling. He would quickly be paired with other wrestling country boys, Hillbilly Jim, Cousin Junior, and Cousin Luke. They would perform the characters of simple-minded hillbillies and even square dance in the ring. In a departure from the scripted circus that was 1980s professional wrestling, Frazier, now Uncle Elmer, would legitimately get married to his wife, Joyce. This occurred on the show Saturday Night's main event, which aired on NBC. And of course, in keeping up with the show that was pro wrestling in the 1980s, there were a series of interruptions and brawls. Frazier would be married to Joyce until his death. Frazier was a large man, and as a result, he suffered from diabetes and other health ailments. He passed away on July 1st, 1992. You know, it is said to supplement his income that Frazier actually operated a shoe store and sold other low-cost merchandise within that store. But I'm so glad to be able to visit the grave of Stanley Frazier. And, you know, he was, in his own right, a legend of wrestling, especially in the Gulf area. So I'm glad to be able to pay my respects to him. And I would love to know, have any of you ever heard of this man Stanley Frazier, Plowboy Frazier, Uncle Elmer, whatever you want to call him. He went by several other names as well. But have any of you all heard of him? I would love to know the answer to that question. Please leave it in the comments below. So glad to be able to pay my respects here. My first time ever filming in Mississippi. And so glad that it was to visit Stanley Frazier. Something else, I didn't realize that he was a veteran. And I'm so glad that he did get buried with... Uh, honors any veteran that's laid to rest in one of these veteran cemeteries they do get the proper respect and the proper treatment so i'm so glad that he did have that and so glad that everything is well taken care of thank you all for joining me there is going to be another video of mine popping up on the screen very soon please watch it and you'll see a little picture of me as well you can click on that to subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you love cemetery content that is all I do. I do all cemetery videos, so please join me. I would love to have you. And once again, from Biloxi, Mississippi, I will see you again soon.